when you talk about sustainability in the food community, from a commercial standpoint, it is not designed to essentially have a sense of consciousness. Let's start with where the food comes from. It used to be so much simpler back in the day. Your food came from afar. It came from a local place. Now our food comes from everywhere. You have a corporate umbrella that's more interested in profits than they're interested in sustainability or making sure all food that's created are utilized or made available to people. And there's no such thing as seasonality in food per se as a commercial business. So you have to impose that on the system. Using food as a pathway to engagement and to enlightenment, bringing about community is really near to my heart. With that in mind, I created Small's House, which are sit-down dinners for 12 in my home with varying chefs from the diaspora. We collect information that offer us a collective of resources that we can use to show up. It starts with our, first and foremost, with our farming, our growing systems, uh, the way in which products are delivered, being conscientious of what is seasonal and what is not. You start to allow Mother Nature to participate in how you create your menus and the products that you offer. We need to be informed by the earth. It's talking to us. <laughs> no.